Brian, going into today's game, your team knew this moment would be big. When the game finally tipped, how big was it? Uh, it was surreal, you know. Um, we're playing Kentucky, Sweet 16. This is what we wanted. Um, we weren't running from it, you know. We, we tried to embrace it, you know. We got off to a slow start early, but we fought our way back into the game, and just like we did every other game. When we were down, we fought our way back in, and, you know, we, we thought that's what was going to push us over the edge. We knew we could match up with Auburn if we got past Kentucky, you know, but you know, it wasn't in God's plan. So um, we just got to accept it. It's a tough loss, but at the end of the day, man, I'm proud of these guys. I'm proud of the season that we've had, you know, 33 and 4. You know, we, we, we set records, and that's something to be proud of. I know this moment hurts, but, you know, that we'll get over it eventually. You know, me, Corey, and Galen. But the new guys, I want them to remember this feeling. You know, we felt this last year when we lost on the buzzer beater. So to come here and have this feeling again, it's, you know, it hurts. But uh, it's life at the end of the day. It's life, you know. The season had to come to an end at some point, and it just happened to be tonight, you know. You mentioned being proud. When you look back at this collective journey, what are you personally the most proud of? My relationships with these guys. You know, it was it was genuine. You know, besides all the winning and, you know, stuff like that, what really matters to me is that I really built a family with these guys. You know, coming in last year, I didn't know nobody. You know, most of these guys were from Houston, and I'm from Akron, Ohio. You know, I'm, that's far from here. I mean, far from Houston, but to come in and, play a, a big role for this team and have the success that I had was it was great. But the, the biggest blessing in all of this was building a family with these guys, you know, Fabian White, man, from Fabian to Chris to Galen, every, I'm going to miss every last one of these guys. And I think that's that's the thing that hurts the most when you lose like this. Um, it's not that you're, you're done playing ball, it's just you're done playing ball with your brothers. You know, that was the last time I ever stepped on the court, have my name called and hear Fabian and hear Galen, you know, that's the last time. And I think that's the biggest thing is just knowing that you're done playing with these guys. But we're always going to stay in contact. You know, that's the thing. We're family forever now. That's what this, that's what basketball is all about. College basketball is building a relationship with these guys and main, maintaining that throughout the year. So I think that's been the biggest blessing is, this, is the family. Emotional moment for your entire team in this locker room. What was the message from Coach Sampson once you had a chance to regroup in here after the game? Stay together. You know, um, like I said, me, Corey, and Galen were leaving, but these new guys, the new freshmen coming in, the the underclassmen that's here right now, they're have, they're going to have to step up and teach the younger class how to you know how to be a family as well, how to come in and how to accept the culture and, and adapt to coach. You know, it's going to be tough at first because it was for me. You know, I went from uh, getting chewed out every practice to saying yes, sir, after everything with no problem. You know, and uh, I think that's been the biggest thing is the growth. Um, and you have to have that in the course of a season for your team to be successful, you know. And he said it himself is um, the trust in the process. And we bought in and, you know, we trusted it and we got 33 and 4 out of it, you know, sweet 16. Um, we wanted to keep going further, but it wasn't in the Lord's plan. But what is in the Lord's plan is for Houston to come back and be big. I know it. They're gonna they, they gonna do something special next year, just like just like we did. You know, it's uh it's been building and building. You know, and I'm just glad to be a part of that. And we made history, and this team will never be forgotten.